thinking. And let's meet in child's pose with your hips wide. With your hips wide, maybe your knees are actually going out to the edge of your mat. See if your toes can meet behind. And this is a hip opener, sinking your hips down slowly and making, you know, gradually walking your arms out in front of you and slowly bringing your forehead to the mat and dropping your belly and breathing into your hips. So these, these, these joints like the hips, let's breathe into it. When we start to stretch, breathing into these areas that might be tight and like all twists and deep stretches and bends, we, when we breathe in, elongate. So stretch out and then when you exhale, sink deeper. So in child's pose, see if you can get your hips closer to your ankles and breathe into it, breathe in, elongate, breathe out, sink. And let's just stay here for a few moments to begin to open up our hips and our back. You can leave your arms all the way on the mat in a more passive child's pose. Maybe rock your forehead back and forth. And as we start practice today, bring an intention in. Maybe it's wishing someone well. Maybe it's a hope. Maybe it's a um, I don't know, just a concept, ease or joy, something that you can bring to mind as we go through the practice. Breathe in, start your ujjayi breathing, constricting the back of your throat. Now stretch your hands out in front of you, bring the eye of your elbow off the mat and point it to the ceiling, bringing a more active posture into child's pose. Again, maybe pressing your palms into the mat and seeing if you can sink your hips even further down towards your ankles, breathing in deeply. And slowly move your hands back towards your body and come to a comfortable seated position on your mat. It can be locus, it can be cross leg, it can be hero's pose, whatever is comfortable. You, your hips can be on a block. Sometimes you can even practice with that. Get a block, put it on the lowest setting, place your sacrum on the block, and tip your hips, your pelvis forward and see if your knees can reach towards the floor, breathing in. Maybe one of your feet can be on top of the, one of the shins in kind of a half loc locust pose. Not locust, lotus. <laughs> Hands on your knees, sit up tall. Allow the crown of your head to reach towards the ceiling. Closed eyes, elongate your neck. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and drop them down your back. 
so that you really lower your shoulders as you reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Breathe here. As you breathe in, engage your lower belly like you're zipping your favorite pants up. So feel that engagement deep in your belly. That is an engagement that can help in stabilizing your body. It helps in a lot of, a lot of poses and continue to breathe. Bring your hands to prayer. Really press your thumb knuckles into your chest wall. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. We'll begin practice with the sound of one ohm. Breathe in deeply. Oh. your eyes, stretch your hands out long in front of you. We're going to open and close our fingers 30 times quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Clasp your hands together and reverse. Reverse your palms in front of you. Drop your shoulders down your back. Bring your palms up overhead. Stretch up. Grab your right wrist with your left hand and tip over to the left. Stretching at your waist, keeping your sit bones directly on your mat. Again, reach up, look up. Now grab your left wrist with your right hand. Tip over to the right, keeping your sit bones straight on the mat. Breathe in, look up. Place your palms on the floor in front of you. If you've got a block underneath your sit bones, maybe remove that now. Find your way into whatever leg position you need in order to really Bend at the waist, draw your lower back towards the, the side of your mat. So you're not hunching over, you're not rolling, rounding your back. You're really bringing your lower back towards the floor as you breathe in, extend. As you breathe out, ex, um, lower down deeper. Breathe in, extend, exhale, lower down deeper. Breathe. Come back up, tiptoe your fingers back up to a seated position. Draw your shoulders up and down and around. Round the world with your shoulders. Bring them way down and reverse. Go in the opposite direction. Your hands can really be anywhere that's comfortable. We're really just bringing some fluidity to our shoulders. It feels good, drop them down your back. Now lower your chin to your chest and now look up at the ceiling. Exhale, lower your chin to chest. Inhale, look up at the ceiling. Lower, exhale, inhale, up. Now left ear to left shoulder. Don't bring your shoulder up. Make your ear go towards it. Look up and right ear, right shoulder. Really stretch it out. This side is crankier for me. So I'm really going to try to stretch it and breathe into it. Look up and left ear, left shoulder. Don't go fast, go at your pace, but feel the stretch, keeping your spine straight. We're really just moving our neck 
and maybe a little bit of our cervical spine. Look up. Now bring it all together. Chin to chest, go around to the left. Breathe in as you go back slowly. Exaggerate this movement. Come around. Exhale as you come around. Inhale as you go back. One more time in this direction. And reverse. And one more time around. Really accentuate these movements. They're small but they're big. Good. Bring your hands to the mat. Come to a tabletop position. Note in your lineup alignment, toes behind your knees, knees under hips, shoulders on top of elbows, elbows on top of your wrists, your pointer finger facing 12 o'clock. So get your alignment all sorted out. Breathe here, drop your shoulders. So don't arch your back, drop your shoulders down. And this is a neutral position. Engage your abdominals, feel that tummy tuck. And we're gonna do some cat-cow. So look up for cow, cat, exhale. Round your back, inhale, look up for cow. Point your sacrum up. And now tuck and round, exhale. Cow, look up, tuck, and tuck your chin and your pelvis. Breathe here for a moment and come back to a neutral spine. Cupcake your right fingers out in front of you and bring your left toe straight behind you. So my toes are tucked on my mat. Breathe into this. Again, engage your abdominals as you lift your hand and foot up, like you're, like you're shaking someone's hand and you're stamping the wall behind you with your flexed toes. Bring that elbow to your knee on an exhale. Inhale, extend out, really energetic, and crunch. Extend out, and crunch. Place that hand on your mat. Breathe in, cat and cow. One time, extend your left hand out in front of you. Cupcake that hand. Place your right foot behind you. You're on your toes. Breathe in and out. On an inhale, extend your hand forward and your toes behind you energetically. And bring that elbow to knee on an exhale. Inhale, extend out, energetic, stamping, reaching, exhale, crunch. Again, extend and crunch. One more, extend and exhale and crunch. Come back to your um, tabletop position. Again, check out your alignment. We're going to Raise our knees off the mat. So you're going to tuck your toes, bring your knees off the mat, just two inches and breathe here. Again, a small movement, small, plug your shoulders in, breathe. Drishti at the top of your mat. Breathe here, engage your abdominals, lower down, tabletop. My toes are still tucked under. As we're going to come up again, bring those knees off your mat, just two inches. Breathe here and exhale. Breathe in again. And now roll back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, readjust your feet. Maybe you've got to step them back a little bit. I did. Make sure your hands and your fingers are still in that true north position. So your pointer finger is at 12 o'clock. Bring some of the pressure off of your palms and into your fingertips. Maybe slightly cupcaking your hands. See how that feels. Pedal out your feet. 
Really stretch one ankle down and then the other. Point your toes to the left side of your mat and really bend your knees. Big left body stretch. Again, your hands are even, even weight distributed in both. Come back high on your toes and now point your toes to the right side of your mat. Again, bend your knees. Feel this small movement, but it's a big side body stretch. Come back high on your toes. Lower down. High on your toes and tiptoe to the top of your mat. Maybe 10 little tiptoes. And when you get close enough, you're going to come up on your fingertips and tiptoe. Stay on your toes. Again, small movement. See if you can come to a halfway lift on your toes. Breathe in and lower down. <sighs> Stay on your toes. Try that again. If you fall out, just, just come back into it and lower down. Now, on inhale, Come up to stand. See if you can stay on your toes. And lower down. Woo. <laughs> Good. Look up. Reach up. Spark your fingers to the top of, the, of your room. Unlock your knees as you slowly, really slowly dive down. Place your fingertips on the mat in front of you. Feel this. Where's your sacrum? Maybe you can bend your knees and come a little bit deeper into it. Maybe that allows your sacrum to go more towards the ceiling, which is good. Halfway lift, straighten your back, draw your shoulder blades into one another. Your, so your shoulders are really in their sockets. And now dive down again. <sighs> Breathe in as you raise your arms up, look up and dive down again, <sighs> slowly. No hurry. Halfway lift. Straighten your back. I love this. I love this pose. This really releases my, my lower back. Place your hands on the mat and step back to high plank. So again, look at your fingers. They're, they're at 12 o'clock, your, your pointer finger. Your shoulder blades are right in their, their sockets. So you're, you're your booty isn't up, nor is it dipped. It's even. So you want to be straight. This is a super strong pose. And we're going to do a chaturanga. You're going to tuck your elbows in. You're going to come down just halfway, right? Not further. And now come up to upward facing dog. So now your chest is pulling through your triceps. Your thighs can be off the mat, or you can have your knees on the mat. Either way, and we roll back using our abdominals to a downward facing dog, where we're going to breathe here. <sighs> we're going to step our foot forward. We're going to come up into warrior one. So we're going to come up slowly. So make any feet adjustments that you need. I can actually scooch my front foot forward a little bit. My knees right over my ankle. My front foot is dissecting my back foot. They're at perpendicular. My back foot is at 45 degrees and the blade edge is digging into the mat. So get set up. We'll do this a couple times, but if you can get the feeling, now bring your hands to hip. See where your hip bones are. Are they facing the wall in front of you? So that's the, that's the goal. So maybe move your um, right hip back and your left hip forward. So once you get all that stuff going, bring your hands to cactus, breathe, sink, breathe, sink, and now bring your arms up overhead so your triceps are around your ears. Breathe here and sink. Breathe and sink. Pin with your hands to the mat, framing that front foot and step your front foot back to downward facing dog. Again, start to continue to pedal out your feet. 
This is our second or third down dog of the day. Maybe you notice that your legs are feeling a little different. Maybe they're getting a little looser. On an inhale, step your left foot forward. Warrior one, get set up. Take your time. Check out your hips. Bring your hands up to cactus. Your pelvis is neutral. So your booty isn't popping out, nor is it is nor is it tucking forward. See if your shoulders can get straight parallel with the front of your room. Breathe here and bring your arms up overhead, wrapping your triceps around your ears. Breathe. Sink. Breathe and sink. Pinwheel your hands to the mat. Step your left foot back. Come into a downward facing dog and breathe. We're going to do one more um, warrior one. We're going to do it a little quicker. See if you can pull all those cues together. So on an inhale, breathe in. Exhale completely. <sighs> inhale, step your right foot forward and come up. Just come right up into it and then make your adjustments. Sink. Hands to mat, step your right foot back, downward facing dog, breathe here, breathe in and out. Breathe in and step your left foot forward, warrior one, come right up into it and then make your adjustments. For me, I always have to kind of check out my hips. My hips never make it so that they're completely parallel with my front wall, but that's the goal. And making those hip adjustments is a big part of warrior one. Sink. Breathe and sink. Hands to mat, step back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg and stamp the wall behind you with your right leg and try to come up on your left toes as high as you can. Look at your hips. They should be parallel here. You can, if you, if you want to raise your right leg, do it with your leg muscles. Don't, don't fan open your hips just yet. Now bend that knee 90 degrees. Now fan open your hips. Breathe here. Big hip opener, breathe, breathe. And place that foot on the mat. Pedal out your feet. Raise your left leg up, stamp the wall behind you. Look at your hips, are they parallel? Come high on your right toe, bend your left knee, 90 degrees. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale on an inhale, fan open your hips. So now that left foot is, you can bend it so that you can almost touch your booty with it. I can't, but you, you could go in that direction. You want to stack your hips and lower down. Good job. Breathe here. <sighs> Step your right foot forward and come into warrior one and into warrior two. So here we are in warrior two. You can move your back foot. Some people like to uh, make that adjustment. In warrior one, it's sort of at a 45 degree angle. Some people like to make their foot more a 90 degree angle in warrior two, your choice. Reverse that warrior and side angle. Place your arm gently on your thigh and bring your left arm straight up to the ceiling. Again, we're stacking our shoulders and that arm that's on your, your thigh is very gentle. You're not dumping into it. Now extend that arm 
overhead. So now your left tricep is by your left ear. Breathe here. You can take a bind here. You can bring that left arm behind you and see if you can grab the top of your right thigh with your left hand. For me, this really helps open me up. This is a bigger shoulder opening for me. Breathe here. Good job. Come back up to warrior two. Stretch your arms out in either direction. Now adjust your right toes and pigeon toe your feet together, facing the left side of your mat. Grab your hands on your hips. Breathe here, sit up tall, stand up tall. And we're going to do a wide leg forward fold. So here we are. The wider your legs, the closer your head's going to get to the mat. So for some people, they like to try to go into a headstand from this pose. If that's not in your practice, play with the width of your legs. See how it feels different. So we're going to go down halfway, parallel your arms to the mat, straight back, and now lower down. Place your hands on the mat right under your shoulders and allow your head to just sway. Yes. No, and see how that feels. Now, if we want to try to open up our, our, our hamstrings, and that's another way of having our hip opening, bend your right knee and see if you can get bend your right knee right over your right ankle. You can actually use an assist with your right shoulder going into your right knee you can come up on your left heel, and some people can lower down all the way. And that's a huge um, stretch to the inside of your thigh. If you've done that, just come back up and lower your head down, bobbing yes, shaking yes, shaking no. And see if you can do that on the left side. So. Bending your left knee, you don't really want it to collapse in, and now you're going to bend, and maybe even using your, your left shoulder as an assist to pull it open, and then lower down, flex your right toes towards the ceiling, and you'll feel a super big um, stretch to the inside of your, of your right uh, thigh. I'm on my left toes. Some people, it's more comfortable to have that heel or that foot completely on the mat. But using your hands, you can work your way up into that forward fold. Come up halfway. Breathe. Extend your back. And lower down again. Come up halfway slowly. And now come all the way up to a standing position. Good job. We're going to go and do that same little sequence on the other side. I'm going to take a drink. So let's go into a warrior one using having your left foot in front, noticing if your toes are at 12 o'clock. My, my, my right foot is now at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to look at my hips, try to get them aligned, come up to cactus arms, full warrior one arm, breathe into it, sink, open up to warrior two. Really stretch in either direction, arms parallel with one another, and sink into this. Make any adjustment with your back foot that um, is comfortable. Breathe in, breathe in. Reverse your warrior, arm straight up, left arm straight up to the ceiling, and now side angle. So come into it. Your right arm is now straight up. Your left arm is gently resting on your left thigh. Breathe here. See if that bind is available for you on this side. Bring your right arm around your back and see if you can grab the top of your thigh and then look up at the ceiling. 
this is um, for me a greater um, a shoulder opening. Breathe. You're not dumping into that arm. Breathe. And slowly come out of it. Point your toes in the opposite direction. So we're gonna come into goddess. So your toes are facing the corners of your mat. My, I'm facing the left corners of my mat. Tricky thing here is we wanna make sure our knees aren't caving in. So our knees, to the extent to which it's possible, need to be over. So make any adjustments that you need to make that possible. Maybe bringing your feet a little closer together, maybe that helps. And press your knees apart and sit up tall, straight spine, shoulders down your back. Maybe you stay here. Maybe that assist with your hands is what you need or try to come up to cactus arms and slowly these slow, small movements just flex up and down with your torso a little bit and feel your muscles working big time, right? Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out and sink. We haven't done any chairs, but this is that same kind of really activating our thighs. Slowly come up out of it to a standing position. We're gonna actually, we're kind of in a grounding mode here. I want you to point your right toes straight towards the front of the mat. We're gonna come back into a warrior two. So get set up for your warrior two. And we're gonna come into triangle. So here's our warrior two. Make sure your knees over your ankle. Sit up tall, neutral spine. Breathe here, straighten your front leg and hinge forward. And now come into Trikonasana, warrior two. Your hand on a block or on your shin. The goal is to stack your shoulders. So for me, when I turn my hand, so my pinky is, is, is rotating in, that helps me get a greater rotation in my shoulders. Stack your shoulders, make yourself like you're between two panes of glass. So your head, the crown of your head is really pulling to the front of the room. Breathe here, breathe. Step your left foot halfway up the mat. If you have a block, grab it for pyramid pose. So my block, my, my foot, I'm hip width distance. My block is right in front of my um, right foot, kind of on the side, but ahead of it. And I'm going to ask you to come down just halfway. So engage your abdominals, bend half, and now bring your hands onto the block or onto your shin and really fold forward. So you don't want your knees locked, you want them unlocked. This is breathe in, extend, exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, extend, exhale, fold forward. Drop the crown of your head towards the mat. Good. Now bring your block to the inside of that right foot. Place your hand on it, can you be on your fingertips or your full hand on it and come up for twisted triangle. So here you want your the very top of your thighs to, to meet, maybe you can, maybe they actually touch, stacking your shoulders, drawing your right hips, that is not popping out, it's right behind you, unlock your knees. Good, and slowly make your way up. We'll do that same little sequence, a grounding sequence on the other side. So come into warrior two with your left foot forward. Get a block so that you can grab it. So come into warrior two. See if you can scoot your right feet, right foot forward so you come into a deeper warrior two, maybe your deepest one yet. Breathe here, neutral pelvis. 
Tuck your belly, breathe. Stretch your arms out in opposite directions so that they're even with one another, breathe. Straighten your front leg, hinge forward and come into Trikonasana with a block or hand on your shin. And our goal is to stack our shoulders and bring our body into this, like we're a sheet of glass, this thin line. Breathe, breathe. Slowly make your way out of this. Step your right foot forward halfway up the mat and set up for pyramid. So if you want to block, good. Bring your arms up and lower down over your front leg, your left leg, and breathe into this as you breathe and exhale, you lower down. You should feel this in your hamstring, your left hamstring. If your knees are locked, try to unlock them. Breathe and lower. Breathe and lower. Place the block on the inside of your left foot. Right hand on the block, left hand up to the ceiling for a twisted triangle. See if it's, see if stacking your shoulders are possible in this. Maybe come up on your fingertips. Maybe that gives you a little more room to stack those shoulders. The top of your thighs are meeting and we're breathing into this and extending the crown of our head to the front of the room or the back of the room, in this case may be. Breathe. And slowly make your way out of it. Good. Put, you can get rid of your block if it's in the way. And we're going to come right into um, another hip opener, which is eagle, because it's a bind. So come into chair legs and you know, look down to make sure you can see your toes. You're sinking your hips down and you want to find a drishti point that you can gaze at. Notice your breath. Notice your abdominals. Can you engage them? And then wrap your, left, your right leg around your left. Maybe you can get your toes all the way around that shin and wrap your right arm under your left for eagle pose. Sink. Breathe. See if you can straighten your back as you sink. And come out of it. Arms up, look up. Same thing, let's do eagle on the left. So get yourself into the right position. You're sinking, you've got chair legs. And find a drishti point, find your breath, engage your abdominals, wrap your left leg over your right and left arm under your right, palms face one another, elbows are up in line with your shoulder as you sink. If you fall out, come back in. One more breath. And come up, mountain pose, look up. Good job. Let's come into, um, Grab your block again. We're gonna come into airplane into half moon. So place your block. We're gonna start with our right foot. So right foot forward, place your block down and actually come back so that you have um, legs like we're going into crescent lunge. So you're back on your left toes, your arms are up. Here we are. And we're not gonna hoof. Into, into airplane, we're going to go slowly like molasses. Just launch up and come into airplane, take it slow. Bring your arms slowly behind you. See if your pinky fingers can start to meet behind you. We've got some up dog in our chest. 
Our gaze is slightly forward. Breathe here. Flex your, your, your legs, the toes of the leg that's raised. Now bring your hands to heart. Breathe. And lower down for half moon. A block can be handy right underneath your right shoulder. And now flex your toes to the side of the room. So we're stacking our hips. We're stacking our shoulders. Again, another hip opener. Bend your standing leg. Now straighten it a little bit. Bend it. And now straighten it a little bit. Breathe here and lower down. Good job. We'll do this now on the other side. So what we did is we came into like a crescent lunge leg, right? Or maybe we just came into a full crescent lunge. So your legs are hip width distance. My right toes are behind me. I'm on my toes high. My left foot is in front of me and my left toes are 12 o'clock or the left big toe is at 12 o'clock. Your hands can be by your side or you can start with crescent lunge arms and slowly just kick up. Oh, I have to try that again because I didn't do that very well. So you may want to start with your toes, your um, right toes a little bit closer. The further back they are, the harder it is to kick up into this. And kick up. And whatever it takes, just come into airplane. Breathe here. Up dog in your chest. Draw your pinkies towards one another. Flex your toes. Breathe. Breathe. Hands to heart at prayer. And now half moon. Place your block where it's handy, right underneath your shoulder and slowly open up, point your toes of your standing of your um, raised leg towards the wall on your side and see if you can stack your shoulders. Breathe here and lower down. Good job, good, good job. Let's meet on the mat in a seated position. Come into a seated position. We'll do a little bit of core work. So bring your legs into whatever your boat looks like. So with boat, what you wanna notice is you're on your sacrum. You're not on your lower back. You're not on your, your bum. You're on, you're tipping back. So, and really feel that. So just kind of roll, go, go to your lower back, see how that feels, then roll forward to your butt. No, that's not right. It actually feels right. It's For me, it's kind of the way it feels. You can come into full high boat and low boat. Look at your toes. Use your abdominals. High boat, low boat. Inhale high, exhale low. One more. Inhale high, exhale low and lower down completely. Good job. Breathe here. Bring your legs up and your soles of your feet are facing the ceiling. Your toes are flexed. Bring your arms up like you're trying to touch your toes. Try to draw your shoulders down. Try to get them on the mat. So you're not overextending them, they're there. Now lift up just with your abdominals. Just press your lower back into the mat. Do that 10 times. Good. And come out of this. Good job. So let's go right into a downward facing dog. If 
if um, going into um, half pigeon is difficult for you, stay on your back and go into figure four. And you know what that is. That's where you put your ankle on your knee and you use your, you place your hands behind the, the thigh and your elbow on the other knee to kind of open up your hips that way. But if you, if half pigeon is in your practice, start off in a downward facing dog, breathe here. And we want to bring your right knee and place it behind your right wrist at the top of your mat and slowly scooch your left leg back so that it is fully extended. Maybe you stay here. Maybe this is enough. Maybe you can go down on your forearms. Breathe here, see how that feels. We want this to be a hip opener. So hopefully you feel it in your hip. If you don't, try to figure out a way to get your foot of your bent leg closer to the top of your mat. For me, that's not in my practice, but if you've got a lot of flexibility, you might even be able to get that bent leg almost parallel with the top of your mat. Um, uh, this is about as much as I can do. So I'm breathing here, but I think I can go lower, placing my arms further up front, in front of me, extending my fingers, and I can get my forehead on the mat and breathe here. Your toes can be tucked or flat, whichever, but flex the toes of your bent foot. That protects your knee. And maybe at this point, you return to the intention that you set at the beginning of class. Breathe deeply into this. This is a big, big stretch of the hip. Slowly make your way back up. Slowly, 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 as, as slow as you need to go. Breathe and we'll meet again in downward facing dog. Take any counter stretch that you need. Maybe extend that right leg long and I don't know, roll out your ankle, bend your knee a little bit. And either figure four with your left leg bent or into half pigeon on this side, bringing your left knee behind your left wrist and scooching your right foot back so that leg is straight behind you. Come onto your forearms, breathing here, seeing how that feels. And if it's there for you, straighten your arms out in front of you and lower down all the way, forehead on the mat and breathe. and allow your hips to release. See if there's a, a deeper release for your hips. Two more breaths. and start to make your way back up. This time, swing your right leg around so it's now straight in front of you and keep that left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Bring your arms up overhead. Direct your torso towards that straightened right leg and fold over it. Unlock your right knee Bring your lower back towards your right ankle. So whatever that takes, if you can grab the soles of your foot 
You can use that as leverage as you breathe in, extend, exhale, bend deeper. Inhale, extend, exhale, deeper. Come back up to a seated position. Raise your right arm up to the ceiling. Place your left hand behind your left hip and come up on your right toes and extend back with that arm kind of coming overhead. Your tricep is coming close to your right ear for kind of a version of wild thing. Come back down. And now we're gonna switch legs. Straighten your left leg out in front of you. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Draw your arms up to the ceiling, sit up tall, and then move your torso so it's facing that extended left leg and fold. Not rounding your shoulders, your shoulders are down the back, but inching further and further into a deeper fold with your breath. Come back up to a seated position and grab your block for waterfall. So place it right underneath your sacrum. Your feet should literally just pop up. Look at your toes. Your toes are saying hello to you. Count 10 things that you're grateful for. See if you can get to 10. People places, things you love, things you hope to do, people you wish well to. and gently come back out of this. Remove your block, push it away from your body. Straighten your legs out long on your mat, arms up overhead like your morning, your first morning big stretch. Breathe in, stretch, stretch, and bring your right knee into your chest and bring it over, draw it over to the left side of your body for supine twist. Extend your right arm long and gaze over at the right thumb. Come out of this and switch. Draw your left knee into your chest and draw it over to the right, stacking your hips gazing out over your extended right thumb, left thumb. Come back to center, draw both knees into your chest, Form a ball, scrunch, 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 scrunch everything tight and extend into your final rest, Shavasana. 
for the good work you've done today. Flop your feet open, lift your hands, your palms, open them to the ceiling to receive and breathe normally and rest. Bring some movement into your fingers and toes and roll onto your side, cradling your head with your arm into a fetal position and take a few breaths here. With your eyes closed, slowly make your way up into a comfortable seated position. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to heart in prayer. We'll end practice with the way we began with the sound of one ohm. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Oh. Bring your thumb knuckles to your forehead and look up. The light in me honors the light in you. We bow together and say, Namaste. Namaste.